Hi, boys and girls. For today's art lesson, we are going to be learning how to make a paper chain. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to use our scissors. We're going to be learning how to use our glue stick. And we're going to need some paper. You can get white paper, or if you want to get a color, you can. I got red and green. I'm going to show you how to make a pattern with red and green as we make a paper chain, but if you only have one color, that's okay too. So we're learning how to use our scissors, our glue, and we're going to be making a paper chain. You'll also see how to make patterns as we do this too. All right? So the first thing you do is you get your paper, you got your scissors, thumb on top. Remember, don't flip your hand over upside down. Thumb on top, get your paper, and you're going to cut some strips, some strips of paper. So you just cut straight across your paper until you have a strip like this. You're going to make a couple of them. So go ahead and cut. So I'm starting with my green paper. But if you only have white paper, that's okay. You can just use white paper too. It works. But I'm gonna use red and green. So now I'll get up my red paper. And now I'm gonna cut some strips with my red paper. See? So I start on one side, thumb on top. Remember, don't flip your hand upside down. Thumb on top. Open, close, open, close, open, close. I might cut a little faster than you because I'm a grown up. It might take you a little bit longer to cut your strips of paper. The more strips of paper you cut, the longer your paper chain is going to be. So it's up to you how many you cut. So it looks like I've got, it looks like I have four green. I got three red, I'll do one more so that I have four red and four green. You can do more if you want to, okay? So see, now I've got my strips of paper. Now here's how you make it into a paper chain. On one of your strips of paper, we're gonna add some glue. So get out your glue stick. Might need to make sure it's sticking up just a little bit. Never wind up your glue stick so it's sticking out too far, okay? Now you're going to put a little bit of glue on one end of your paper. And now you're going to roll it up. So you got to kind of bend it like this. And then you're going to pinch it. Sometimes you, you should probably hold it and count to 10 just to make sure it sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now look it. It looks kind of like a letter O. See that? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add on to this to make a chain. So, I get out a new strip of paper. I'm going to add some glue to one side of it. When you add your glue, you can just leave your strip of paper laying down on your table to do it. I'm just holding it up so you can see how to do it. So you put some glue on, and now watch this. You stick it through there, wind it up, pinch it together, count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, now, so I got green, red. I'm gonna do a pattern, so now I'm gonna get a green. So I add a little glue, to the end. See, I just put a little bit of glue on the end like that. Now, I'm gonna stick this one through. I want this to connect to the red one. So I stick it through the red one, stick it through, wind it up, pinch it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I just keep on doing this. So if I have green, now I need, let's see, green, red, green, red. I need a red. So I put some glue on the back of my red, stick it through, wind it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Now, green, red, green, red. Now I need a green to make the pattern. If you're using one color, you wouldn't be making a pattern, but if you're using, if you want, you could even use three colors of paper. So you, let's say if you had red, green, and white, you could go green, red, white, green, red, white. It's up to you what pattern you want to make. So you just keep on adding on your strips. You add glue, stick it through, wind it up. I'm gonna show you a mistake that sometimes people make when they're making paper chains, just so you don't make a mistake. Let's say you put the glue on, and then instead of winding it up like this, if you pinch it like this, you get a different shape. See, it looks more like a teardrop than a circle. See how that's different? So you don't want to do it that way. When you do it, you make sure you have to wind it up and pinch it together to make a circle shape, not the teardrop shape. So you just keep on adding to your paper chain. And also notice this, like, so if I have green here and I'm doing a pattern, green, red, green, red, green, red, I need to make sure I add my green one to the red one not to the wrong side, to the green one. So I wind it up, pinch it. One, I have one more strip to go. Now, you can make your paper chain longer if you want to. Last year I did this with my kindergarten class and they made paper chains super long that were as tall as their selves. So if you like making paper chains, you can make it even longer than this. Let's see how long mine is. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight pieces on mine. See how long you can make yours and have fun making paper chains.